Khan, how are you? Well, Dr. Stork, it's always great connecting to you. I remember watching you on The Bachelor, and now, of course, you got the hit show, The Doctors, season after season. So thank you for being with us. But when you go back to medical school, are your fellow classmates now officially calling you a TV star? I'm not sure they call me a TV star even now, but I will say this. I am, you know, I was reflecting on it just yesterday that seven years in, how proud I am of the show. And it, it never ceases to amaze me that not only the guests that we have on the show, but the people on the street where they'll say something that came up, a topic on the show that changed their life. And if you think about it, we've taped well over 1,100 episodes now. And it, it's probably more fun now, Con, than it ever was before because I feel like we've got, got a bit of a second life. And, you know, we have some, some new co-hosts on the show. And, and it, feels, it feels like season one. And I would say I'm having more fun than I've ever had in The Doctors. It's, it's really been a blast. Well, I can tell you the chemistry is clear to see. But when you started off in The Doctors, did you know there was going to be over 1,200 different medical topics to talk about? Well, actually, it's, so it's seven segments of the show. We've covered almost 7,700 medical topics. And the thing is kind of changes. So, you know, right now there are different things in the public stream of consciousness. And um, whether it's, it's talking about literally vaccines, other health issues. But the cool thing about the doctors, and it's one of the reasons why I'm talking to you today, is people, I think the thing they like the most are the simple tips that they can use to improve their life starting today where we don't have to say, okay, well, wait, wait and go see your doctor for this. It's more so start doing this tonight and your family can be healthier tomorrow. Now, I know one thing you're a big proponent of is breakfast. Why, medically speaking, is that so important, doctor? Well, number one, we make hundreds of decisions a day that affect our health. And breakfast is one of the first decisions you make in a day. And it's also the one that sets you up for success or failure. So it doesn't start in the morning, though. It actually starts the night before. And so night before a big day, I do a few things. I always write down a to-do list so I'm not stressing about it while I'm sleeping. I, I am one of those people who actually lays his clothes out for the next morning. But I will get breakfast Talk ready. Wait, you do or your wife does? You know what? I actually still dress myself, believe it or not. <laughs> I, I, I really do. And, and the last thing is, you know, you don't want to wake up in the morning and your favorite shirt turns out it's in the, you know, the laundry room. So I, I still lay it out. I still like literally it's, it's like the socks on top, the shoes are down on the floor. Um, pretty fancy. Uh, but in addition to that, the thing that I've always done, and my mom taught me this, is that for breakfast, I will literally have a bowl and a spoon hanging out with fruit. And it's that little mental reminder and it's one of the reasons why I partnered with Kellogg's in the Tomorrow campaign is it doesn't need to be complex. It can literally be whole grain cereal with milk, yogurt, and fruit. It's a great way to start the day, and you don't have to be a chef to do it. Well, doctor, I certainly agree, but not to put you on the spot, but how do you start your day off? What do you pick? Well, I grew up a raisin brand guy, but now, now I'm an all brand guy, and I'll tell you, it's you know I mix it with, like I said, milk or yogurt and berries and bananas and it's not only the protein, but the fiber, and it's just easy, and uh, it's simple, and it's an easy go-to that, that just kind of gets ingrained into your mind so that I don't have to think a lot in the morning. So all brand is my go-to. It's also good for the GI tract, by the way. Well, doctor, I have to give the brand a try, and before we go, given your success across the board, and congratulations again on the tremendous success of the show, what have you learned on your journey that has served you so well that you can share with us? Probably in med school, one of my surgery professors said, never ask your patients to do something you won't do in your own life. And that served me well. So practice what I preach. Well, doctor, you are awesome. I enjoyed interviewing you in studio. And I know you're so busy. It's nice to even connect over a satellite. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us a great start to our day. Thank you, sir. See you soon.